y'all the most traumatizing thing just happened to me <laughs> Hi beauties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyra Powell. If you are new here, welcome. I am so happy to have you. Thank you so much for joining the family. We appreciate you here. Today I am honoring the winner of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars, Miche Coulee, by recreating and putting a spin on her entrance look from this season. So if you want to know how to get this look and hear my tea on how I felt about the season as a whole, then keep on watching. Okay y'all, so in the video, Shea Coulee does her foundation before she does her eye makeup. And you guys know that that is not my tea usually, but we are going to follow Miss Shea Coulee. So I already did my base off camera. I have not added like bronzer, blush, highlight, um, none of that yet. I'm going to do my eyes first and then we can do that together. There are just no new like concealers that I've used or powders. Um, so that's why I kind of skipped over that part because I just didn't think it was that like exciting or important. Um, and if you really want to see what I do to my face, my routine hasn't really changed. So you can go back to one of my older videos and get the tea on like the concealers that I use, the colors and shades, blah, blah, blah. And just in case I haven't said this already, I am following the video that Shea Coulee did with Miss Nikki Tutorials. If you haven't seen it, go watch it because it's actually really good. And Shea really does break down her entrance look to season five of All Stars. I'm going to be mimicking that today, except I'm going to use different colors. And obviously, like I have a different natural eye shape. This is not me doing or starting my drag series that I kind of mentioned in a previous video. That will come, like I said, when I get like a wig so I can truly feel the fantasy. So without further ado, let's just jump on into the eye look. In the video with Nikki, Shay is doing her entrance look, which is a mostly blue eye, like a two-tone blue eye. I instead am going to be taking this green shade right here and putting that right below my brow bone. Can I just say that I am so, so happy that Shay won Drag Race. Like I didn't think that there was a better contestant this season that should have won. I think the closest would have been um, Miss Cracker. I think that Miss Cracker had a very good season and I my love for Miss Cracker grew a lot more than it did when she was on season 10 because I feel like when she was on season 10, just like the judges were kind of saying, she was very in her head. And I feel like it really did like sabotage her. But this season, I feel like she did such a good job at like being in her head enough to push herself to like make herself like the greatest cracker she could be. But also not being in her head so much that it ended up like sabotaging her performance in any challenge like I think that Cracker held very steady throughout this entire like competition and she she did a very very good job she is the only other person that I felt like should have won um and in this video that Shay does with Nikki she says that like she feels like Blair should have been in the top four I do not agree with that at all I do not think that um, that Blair St. Clair did well enough at all to make it to the top four. I think the top four should have been Juju B, Alexis Mateo. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a what makes Alexa think that she's allowed to talk during my videos? Excuse me. Anyway. I, like I was saying, I think the top four should have been Alexis Mateo, Juju B, um, Miss Cracker and then Shay. But ultimately, I mean, Shay to me just did the best. Like, just overall, when it came to like the runways, when it came to like the challenges, I just think that Shay, Shay, she did that. It, it was Shay Coulee's Drag Race from day one, period. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am like bringing the end of this up just a little bit up and out a little bit more I did have to cut off both of my eyebrows just a teeny bit just so that I could get that kind of lift because if I was really doing this um 
like if I was doing one of her looks in my drag series, which honestly I might go back and like redo it because her eyebrows are a lot more like up and out than mine are so that you really have a lot of room as like your lid. So, so yeah, mine's like a more modified version, but I'm trying, I'm trying to give y'all the fantasy. Okay. Don't judge it if it's not like perfect or judge it, you know, I'm not going to tell y'all how to live. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, I was definitely happy with the top three, although this might be controversial, but like Trixie says, I'm going to be controversial, but brave. Um, I honestly think that the top three should have been Alexis Mateo, um, Miss Cracker, and Shay. I think that they turned it out the most during the competition. Juju B, while she was consistent and had one win, I do feel like it was a little lackluster this season. Moving on, the next part of Shea Kool-Aid's look is doing concealer. She kind of like cuts her crease a little bit. So taking my really light concealer, I am going to start to cut out the crease using this brush as well. Now her cut crease is very, very specific and I'm nervous. So what I'm going to do is speed this part up and give y'all a little instrumental that I created for y'all. Y'all know how I do with the beats. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm going to speed this next part up for you guys just because it can it might get a little bit boring because I'm going to try to be as precise and perfect as I can be. I can now see why she does her face makeup beforehand. <laughs> For the next step, we are going to take this darker green shade right here and outline the part that we cut all the way down and in here. You'll see what I mean. I feel like that was a terrible explanation, but you'll see what I mean. So the brush I'm going to use to do that is this Sonia Kashuk smudge brush just because it's very precise and it works very well. So what I really liked about this season was the drama. The whole drama between like India and Alexis Mateo and and Shea Coulee. I was like, of course y'all are trying to get Shea Coulee out of here. She's doing the best. Why wouldn't you try to get her out? Like, you know what I mean? Like, but apparently that's so if you if you don't know, let me just stop. Let me stop talking off the rip. If you don't know, um, there was basically a whole scandal this season of like who said what. So India Farrow was basically saying that Shay that Alexis Mateo was campaigning to get Shay Coulee out of the competition. Um, that time when Shay was in the bottom, and she was basically saying that Alexis and Mayhem Miller were campaigning to like send Shay home and then in an article recanted her statement and basically was like well I kind of did exaggerate and she didn't really say that and it was just like but sis you made it a whole big thing and now you're gonna be like eh she didn't really say it like that like what 
And so now it's just like, she's a liar, which I kind of like figured because honestly, Alexis seemed genuinely taken aback when she started saying that. She was like, I never campaigned for Shay to be voted out. And so it kind of just started like all this mess. Um, but I live for the drama this season. I thought it was really good. I thought this entire season was really good. All the people on it, maybe except like Angina, were very, very good. Angina, honestly, she was a fan who like escaped through the back doors. And they never really meant to have her on the show. That's what it felt like. Like she was such, I mean, she, her talent, the first episode, her talent was to a mix of all of RuPaul's songs like that's a little awkward to me like it was just very crunchy like the whole thing was just very weird but yeah um I thought other than that like all this this season was very good all right y'all so moving on to the other side the only thing I have to say the only like I guess kind of negative thing and I don't know if you're like a diehard drag race fan please tell me how you feel about it but I genuinely feel like RuPaul is kind of starting to make too many seasons back to back and I feel like like not only with just all stars but also with like the regular seasons I would say more so with the regular seasons because I feel like the girls don't get like the full opportunity to like enjoy their reign as winners before like the next group of girls are like already in and like winning like you know what I mean I don't know like Trinity and Monet both got a full like year reign of you know being all-star winners and then it's like Evie got about six months before um Jada came in and like and is now like in all an all-star and J before Jada Essence Hall came in and like won her season so it's like it just like I don't know it just to me feels like he's doing too much and like pumping out way too many like seasons like give people a break so that they want you to come back like it's like some shows take too long and some shows don't take long enough and I feel like Rue is bordering on the side of like isn't taking long enough in between his seasons <laughs> And y'all to do this I'm really just stamping not so much swiping I'm just kind of like stamping the color on okay y'all so I feel like I got myself to a good place as you can see it's basically just an outline make sure the ends are like pointed up like almost like some wing liner speaking of which that is exactly what we're going to so today I'm going to be using two so this one is the NYX the NYX epic line liner in black and then this is just like I think it's NYC I don't even know if that's a, still a brand that's around. But anyway, this is the NYC liner. Um, and this is also in black. I'm going to use this to fill in because it is a pretty thick line. But I'm going to use this to outline. All right, y'all. So I think, again, I'm not going to talk in this section just because I really, really have to focus on doing this wing. And I am not good at talking and doing a wing in general. So this wing, I'm definitely not going to be good at. So enjoy this music and I will be back as soon as I'm done. <laughs>
y'all the most traumatizing thing just happened to me i was recording away i was doing the black eyeliner and i look at my phone because if you guys don't know i record these videos on my phone and i have a mirror right behind it so that i can make sure that i'm still recording right so i try to make sure that i'm still recording and the screen is black and my phone died and i was like okay not the worst thing in the world because i did just look at it like a minute ago so the words that you guys wouldn't have seen is just like me filling in the black so i plug my phone in i turn it on and i go to my videos and this entire eye look isn't there underneath that it says uploading two items from iCloud and it's taking a very long time to like load in I'm praying hoping and guessing that it's the two it's the two videos of me doing this eye look I am praying because if not I'm gonna just continue this video because I like obviously have to get it done and I don't want to wait however long that's going to take. So I am just praying, like literally <laughs> praying that these videos come in. Because if not, I just did all of this for no reason. Because I've been so busy, I have been recording my videos so last minute. It is currently Sunday night. The time is 10:55, and I am just if this look didn't record like <laughs> I am going to like lose my mind I'm gonna lose my mind all right y'all let's just continue on with the freaking look because oof my blood right now is boiling my anxiety shot like I don't even know if I can continue because I'm so flustered because if this did not save I'm gonna lose it <sighs> okay let's just continue the next step Miss Shea Coulee says is that she takes a glitter liner and draws straight up on the side of her wing so that's exactly what I'm gonna do and by the way I didn't just say this but this is the heavy metal glitter liner from Urban Decay in the shade Glam Rock. And little fun fact, when I first got this, I used it like every single day, doing this exact step on like a much smaller scale because the outcome is so pretty. Guys, I, I can't stop thinking about the fact that if my thing did not save, I'm I, I this whole look will be for nothing and I've I, I actually am not mad at like the progress like maybe if it would have been earlier in the video when I wasn't like doing so well I would have been like eh whatever it really wasn't that good of a video I'll just re-record but one I don't really have time to re-record because this has to go up tomorrow and two I actually really like it needless to say I'm going to be devastated and heartbroken and it's so funny because like as a watcher of YouTube for so many years, you always see like your favorite people on either Twitter or like in their videos being like, oh, I had technical difficulties like this part didn't record, blah, blah. And it's like while you can understand that and sympathize, you don't really get like the full effect of like what that feels like until it's you. And right now I am literally like shook the house down. Like I, I'm quaking in my boots at the thought that it may not have recorded. I, I can't even like, I can't get it out of my mind because it is stressing me out. Okay, Shea Coulee also does a little bit of glitter on her eyebrow bone. Now, I've never done this before, but we are staying true to what she does, so let's just give it a try. Hmm. It's definitely something. It definitely adds, like, a little bit of, like, oomph to the look. I'll, I would definitely say that.
Okay y'all, so great news. The video did actually record and it looks like it stopped when I was like filling in this eye. Um, so as you can see, I did both eyes. Um, I'm so happy that the video is there though and this was not all just like in vain and a waste of time because I would have been pissed. <laughs> Let's be real. Okay, while I do some bronzer and blush, I'm going to first um, put some glue on these lashes. These are the Extension Seeker lashes. Mine are currently upside down. Never mind that. Um, these are my favorite lashes. Lashes. These are my favorite lashes and they are by Salon Perfect. Y'all, so when COVID happened, I had to take my braids out. This is like such a random story, but um, I had to take my braids out and I love my braids. Everybody that knows me knows I have a true love for braids. I've had them most of my life. I rarely have like my hair, my like natural hair out. Um, because honestly, it's very hard to maintain. Like luckily my hair grows and especially when it's in... Luckily, my hair grows. No, luckily, my hair grows, especially when it's in braids. Um, it grows a lot. And so I like to just keep it in braids. It's very easy. And now since like the pandemic and stuff, obviously, I couldn't go get my hair braided. And I'm just over it. Like that's why like in most of my past in my last couple videos, I've been wearing like my hair up in a bun or space buns or some sort of updo because it is just it's like too much my curls are like unruly at this point I had this like curl cream stuff I don't have that anymore Shay in this video at least has very very pink cheeks so I'm gonna take these out outer two shades from my favorite Morphe 8W blush palette and put those on my cheeks I was worried that my lashes weren't going to be extra enough to like impact this look but they really are like my lashes are at least standing like a fighting chance I think. <laughs> okay for highlight I'm taking my tried and true wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in golden flower crown and gonna highlight for the gods. And I did notice that Miss Shay did go very very hard on her nose highlight. Sorry guys, I'm looking in my mirror over here just so I can stop looking down so much. Tell me if that's annoying, please, because I really like using my own, like a, I really like using a little handheld mirror because I honestly feel like it gives me so much better um, control and I can see my makeup so much better than me like looking at a distance in this mirror over here. But if that's frustrating for you guys, for me to constantly be like looking down and having my head down, please, please let me know. Um, I can see how that can be annoying. I do try to like keep my head up though so that you guys can obviously see what I'm doing. But yeah, just let me down, just let me know in the comments down below if it bothers you. If nobody says anything, then I'm gonna assume it doesn't really bother you guys. But I make these videos for you, so please let me know if that's annoying. Okay, also for lips, Shay kind of did a little like she did like a dark purple liner and then she used like a lighter pink on the inside. So I don't have a dark purple liner, but I do have liquid lipsticks in dark purple. So I'm going to start there and then I'm going to put a lighter pink in the inner corner. And this is the dark purple. This one is CoverGirl. This is the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. And this one is in the shade. And this one's in the shade Back Talk. And then this one is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid. And this one is in the shade Nude Flush. I am also going to try to like slightly overline my lips just because I know that like obviously Shea kool has the best lips on earth one and two. They're way bigger than mine. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to overline them.
guys, I'm running into the sadness that I knew I was going to run into trying to do drag makeup without having like a wig to feel the full fantasy because I really like the way that this look turned out and I'm so sad that I don't have like some like long black wig to like <laughs> give the full Shea fantasy. But I regress. I really hope that you guys like this video. Let me come in for you guys so I can give you the full tea on what this looks like. It is very dramatic, but it is also so cute. It's such a look. Congratulations to Michelle Coulet for winning All Stars 5. I am so happy for her. I can't even express it. I was literally rooting for her since she walked in with like, I'm black. Like from that moment, I said, oh, it is Shea Coulee's Drag Race. And that's exactly what it was all season. Looks on point, runways on point, face, body on point. I digress. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it me a like, a little comment, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell notification button so that you are notified when I post again. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye beauties.